wonder if I should do a new episode of Asagao Academy. Well, I guess so. Andy Son. All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Cade. My name is Andy, as always, and today we're resuming our playthrough of Asagao Academy. And so, in the last episode, we met our new roommate, and uh, we also got a chance encounter with Pro Jared in the lunchroom where an inquisiting girl, who we don't know the name of yet, is asking if we know Jared. And based off the, uh, the poll that I posted on Twitter, um, the answer that we're going to pick here is... I guess so. <laughs> so let's go for it. The girl looked me up and down as if she were inspecting a piece of furniture for purchase. I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself earlier, did I? I'm Mimi. Nice to meet you. So how'd you meet Jared? Oh, come off it, Mimi. Jared's not interested. Mine and Mimi stared at each other for a few seconds, having some kind of silent mental battle. Then Mimi turned away and continued to eat. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It was clear that she was just trying to get in with you for her own agenda, so I cut her off. Get in with me? Why? Well, you asked me about those guys in their jackets, right? Those are their normal boots club jackets. Um, the... what? <laughs> Wait, it, what, what's normal boots club? And I'm sorry, I kind of sort of forgot the voices. Even though they really didn't have any. Ah, oh, look at them all. So glorious. <laughs> it's a club we have here at school. It's like totally exclusive and full of only the coolest students course. <laughs> and there's our main man right there, Jontron. <laughs> yeah. They get together and play video games. Or something. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. That one right there is John, also known as Jontron. His bird's name is Jacques, and he's even got the little jacket too! That's great. John is also the president of the drama club here at school. Next to him is PBG. He and John founded the Normal Boots Club together. PBG is one of the best soccer, soccer players on our team. Then there's Gerard. People call him the completionist because he's obsessed with completing things. He has the biggest itty bitty kitty collection I've ever seen. You can call him the leader of the Itty Bitty Kitty Committee. Next to him is Jared, known as Pro Jared. He's a model. Then there's Satch Bag, but everybody calls him Satch. He's like crazy smart. Those guys over there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in the school newspaper called Continue. Paul, the one standing up, is a student council president. The guy in the end there is Shane. He knows more about video games than anyone, ever. Did you know? She exhaled a dreamy sigh into her mashed potatoes. So, how would someone, you know, join the Normal Boots Club? You don't choose the boots, Hana. The boots choose you. They always choose you, Hana. What does that even mean? You have to be presented with the boots to be in the club, and they're like, super selective. What are the boots? The club has this boot statue. It's like uh, the one on their patches, but it's gold-plated. It's their mascot, I guess. They do this uh, weird initiation ritual with it. <laughs> ritual? <laughs> I hear they fill a room with candles and wear these totally creepy robes during initiation. This year, two girls said that she saw it once, and they were all like chanting around the boots, and it sounded like they were talking backwards. But I don't believe her. Even if it's true, I don't care if they're a cult because they're all really hot. Hail Satan! Uh, Do they have a lot of friends? Yeah, tons of friends. I'd say they're the most popular kids in school. I mean, everyone in the school totally looks up to them. I bet they could get any girl in school, too. This is almost like a friggin' uh, allegory of uh, YouTube, in a way. Because, you know, the people that are part of the actual normal boots are, like, very popular people involving or that are involved with the video game community. 
So I want to say they're the most popular kids, but they're some of the most popular kids. So I'd sit with them at lunch, just saying. Hey, you gonna eat your cake? I shook my head and pushed the plastic tray across the table to her. For the remainder of lunch, I listened to my talk about Jared through mouthfuls of half-dissolved half frosting. Eh. I can't words good tonight. I'm kind of... I don't know if you noticed the little clock in the background, but it's like almost midnight here at uh, Andy Kate HQ. And I'm drinking some uh, nice uh, herbal tea to help me uh, unwind at the end of the day. So... It's really good, too. It's, uh, for those who are wondering, it's called Sleepy Time Extra. So it's like your basic Sleepy Time blend, but it also has a valerian root in there, too, which uh, is really relaxing. So, But you didn't come here to learn about uh, herbal teas <laughs> and relaxing and such. came for the, uh, the intense gameplay, right? Back at the dorm, I sorted through the piles of textbooks the school left for me. My radio is playing a poppy tune, Eagle Parts music to static. My fervently scribbled in, in a notebook at her desk, hunched over it with strikingly poor posture. Hey. Hey. My. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She didn't bother to look up. Am I supposed to have, like, a textbook for History 309? Uh. uh she shuffled through uh, the papers on her desk before producing a thick textbook. A demure man in a powdered wig frowned at me from the cover. That's always a start. Yeah, this one. I sighed. I don't have that one. The school must have missed it. My shrugged and set the textbook back in her pile. They have a bunch at the library. You can just check one out. Where's the library? My rift riffled through her notebook and wrote something down. She tore the page out and handed me a crudely drawn map. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll be back in a little bit then. Yeah. Library. Wow. This is a very ornate. This is like <laughs> almost like Beauty and the Beast style library because you got like the the candelabras and all this kind of cool stuff. Obviously, a very nice looking library. Now, the library in my college, um, it's it's nice. It's very expansive, but it's more. I don't know. I always get like a weird science vibe from it because it's very impeccably organized and very sanitary, I guess is one way to put it. Hashtag clean boys. So anyway, let's continue. It took me at least 20 minutes to find the library. By the time I realized I was holding the map upside down, the sun was setting. The library is much larger than I expected. The walls lined from floor to flo uh, ceiling with books of all sizes on rough wooden shelves. Intimidated, I headed for the front desk. A recognizably green and gray jacket was bent behind the counter. N normal boots? I briefly considered running away. Hey. hey, can I help you? Too late. Uh, yeah. The school forgot to give me one of my textbooks. I was told I could get it here. Hmm. Which one is it? The History 309 textbook. He stepped from behind the counter and motioned for me to follow. We dodged between the aisles in a comfortable silence. He seemed friendly enough. I should say something. What was his name again? Shane? Gerard? John? No, not John. We know who John is. Satch. Satch. Huh? Oh, um, you work here. Uh, of course he worked here. He chuckled, dimples appearing in his cheeks. Yeah, I'm the librarian's assistant. It's my second year and I love it. I get to help people find books that speak to them. His eyes twinkled like a kid's on Christmas. I don't know if this is Satch's voice. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just kind of rolling with something here. Kind of like, what's the name of that doctor on The Simpsons that does the... <laughs> that laugh. Dr. Hibbard? Hibbard? I don't know. Your book's right down here. He stopped at a row of thick, dusty books. Was this all history? And pulled out the book with the powdered-wigged man I saw earlier. <laughs> Thanks. He waved his hand. It was nothing. Do you need help with anything else? Um. um... I wanted to make a good impression on the Normal Blues Club, 
but I couldn't come up with anything. No. Thanks. Copacetic. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, as we headed back through the cavernous library, my unease melted away. We weren't talking, but just being near him felt like being wrapped in a soft blanket. A soft, warm, fuzzy blanket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I resisted the urge to snuggle up to him. I'm saving myself a John Tron. We neared the front desk, stepping around a clump of studying students. As we passed, one of them shifted. <laughs> Something white flew past my face. I don't like where this is going. A thick piece of triangular paper to lay at my feet. I bent over and picked it up. It was surprisingly heavy. There was a quarter inside of it. If I was just a hair slower, it would have hit me in the face. <laughs> the students snickered, and I recognized the boys that made fun of my hair this morning among them. Wow, shooting wasps. Uh, at least that's what we called them back in high school, where you'd like get like fold paper as tightly as you could, so that way it was really heavy, and then you just fold it into like a V, and then you get like a little rubber band or something, just fling them at students. Uh, we, we always called them wasps. I don't know if you guys have like a little nickname or whatever for them. Question of the day, what'd you guys call those things? My heart dropped. I scanned my memory for anything that might have done to offend them, but came up with nothing. Welcome to Tumblr! My hands started to shake. I hid it behind my back, trying to think of some way to defend myself. Why'd you do that? Eh, what do you mean? We were just messing around. Are you suggesting we did it on purpose? I faltered. There was nothing I could say. I was outnumbered. They would twist my words around, no matter how straightforward I was. Welcome to YouTube! No, I... sorry. One of the boys held his hand out for the paper. I inched closer to give it to him, anger at myself for being so compliant. I wish I were... A gentle warmth closed over my hand and took the paper from me. Hmm. Satch examined the paper closely. I see what the problem is. Your aim would be better if you cut the corners before you folded it. He placed the paper on the table. The boy looked at him in sheer awe. Be careful, though. You almost hit her, and that would have been awful. My hands began to sweat as panic shifted through me, afraid of the response, but... Jeez, we're sorry. We'll be careful next time. Yeah, it was just an accident. Oops. They apologized? <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. He gave them a wide smile and continued off down the aisles. I followed closely behind, my legs weak. Don't tell me they stopped because of him, simply because I was with him? I wanted to thank him, but my heart was pounding so hard I knew my voice would shake. We reached the front counter and he scanned the history book. My lips trembled as I willed myself to say something, anything, to thank him. He tilted his head to the side. What books do you like to read? Oh, uh, fiction? That's a book, right? He chuckled. I just finished a good book. I think we right up your alley, if you don't mind me saying so. He reached under the counter, pulled out a thick green book, and passed it to me. A man in black stood in front, hugging a woman in royal robes. Say that three times fast. It's long, but it's one of my favorites, The Princess Betrothed. I know things can be tough transferring to new school. If you're ever worried, just read this. It'll transport you a hundred miles away in a second. Tears stung my eyes, so I ducked my head. Satch, thank you. For more than just the books. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I got your name. My name is There you go. My name is Hana Mizuno. I'm a transfer student. Hana. Hana. Well, it's nice to meet you. Let me know if you like the book. I will. It's a good thing I'm drinking this tea, because switching between the high voice and the low voice, it's kind of hard. <laughs> and also, the music is, like, really fucking loud in my headphones. Even though I turned the volume down. Uh, the things I do for you guys. That couldn't have gone better. Not only was Sash impressively kind, but being around him felt easy. Like being doused in the midst of a waterfall. 
Oh gosh, what was I thinking? I'm saving myself for JonTron, damn it! My cheek's hot. I left the library. Two surprisingly heavy books under one arm. Because I lift. I settled into bed, eager to get started with my new reading material, but... Mm. Mai was sitting at her desk, carving a pencil idly into the pages of a notebook. Every few minutes, she released a long, drawn-out sigh as the lead of her pencil whined against the paper. I lowered my book and took the bait. Is something wrong, Mai? She let out another dreary sigh. Man. I like that tank top. I like the, uh, the Asagao Stingers thing. I wonder if, uh, if anyone's made a shirt of that. Question of the day. Has anybody made a shirt of that? I would totally wear that. I hope Jared notices me this year. Does Jared know you like him? My world and around in feigned shock. <laughs> what? I don't like Jared. Oh. I closed my book and set it aside, deciding to play along. Well, have you at least tried talking to him? <laughs> no. I mean, I have before. Why don't you try again? She bobbed her head from side to side, considering this like it never crossed her mind before. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Satisfied, I picked my book back up. Have you ever had a boyfriend, huh? What? What? Me? No, never. Really? Really? Never? Hmm. Never. I bet you, Ichiman, that you meet a totally cute boy here and fall in love by the end of the school year. <gasps> You're crazy. What am I going to do with all that yen? I buried my face back in my book, barring mine from any further discussion. Fall in love by the end of the year? Me? If I were a betting kind of girl, I'd take that bet. I woke the next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat. My, my was already up, shuffling through her school bag with an enigmatic grin. The first day of school. Ha -da! Ha -da! <laughs> You're finally awake! Her voice sliced through the air like a knife, and I winced. She was definitely a morning person. Unlike me, I... Um, me and mornings, we just don't get along. Unless it's like early in the morning, or late at night. Depending on your perspective. It's time for the first day of school! Aren't you excited? I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. What do you mean? Is something special happening today? It's the, it's the first day of school, duh. <laughs> Something strange always happens on the first day of school, especially with someone like you. She winked. There it is. What? What? Someone like me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what I mean. No, I don't. She smiled and started messing with a pile of papers on her desk. Shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled my uniform out of my closet. My palms sweat as I held the gold vest and blue jacket. There was vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. Was it really possible for things to be different here than they were at home? What if the problem wasn't actually at the school? I shook the thoughts out of my head and changed into my uniform. Oh! Huh, what is it? Yeah. You look so cute! Really? Really? Heat crept under my neck. Yeah! Yeah, completely! Your hair matches your uniform so well! You look like a flower blooming straight off the ground. <laughs> Thank you. Water stung the back of my eyes, and I turned to start packing my backpack. Why was I getting worked up about something as little as this? I must have gotten less sleep than I thought. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. I'm just happy. How dumb was that? I started crying at the first sign of someone being nice to me? I took a deep breath to steady my nerves. <laughs> What an oddly menacing la- Thud. All the air left my lungs is something like a horse hooves- or like horse hooves slammed against my back. Urk. <laughs> what is that picture? So she fell on the ground, all the air left her lungs, and this is the little thing where it's just like, Urk. I have fallen. He'll do just fine. Don't worry. This is gonna be awesome. 
I stiffly peered over my shoulder. That... That was you? What? What? Mai stood behind me, her hand raised. Somehow, she had the strength of a bodybuilder. Nothing. I was just about to zip my bag when I spotted the book Satch gave to me lying on the, my nightstand. The princess betrothed. He said that if I ever needed to be transported somewhere far away, I could take it with me. It was pretty good so far. Maybe it would be smart to bring it along, just in case I had no one to talk to between class periods. Would I need it for my first day of class? Alrighty, so we are back to decision time. And uh, yeah. So, as always with, uh, with this particular playthrough, I'm going to be putting up a poll on Twitter asking you guys um, what I should do. Should I take the book or should I leave it behind? And I'll have the poll up for uh, five days. That seems to be a pretty good time. And uh, once the results are in, I'll choose what you guys choose. So, with that said, this is the Andy san Sign up for now, thinking you guys for tuning into this playthrough of Asagao Academy and for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.